second. Take a shot. Okay, hey. Hi, people. How are you? Welcome to another Paint the Edge Up. I am Joel Ward. I'm your host. I, uh, we're going to teach you how to make a cool acrylic painting here in about an hour, hour and a half, okay? I'm going to tell you everything you need to make this, uh, but before I do all that, uh, please, if you haven't already, search, subscribe, follow, like, all that stuff. I've got my info here. Where is it? Right there. Uh, if you want to donate to me, that'd be great, uh, so I can keep doing these. Um, I do them out of the goodness of my heart, but um, anyway, if you want to help, that'd be great. Okay, so today we are doing this painting right here, this cool little landscape sunset painting with the boat. Okay, it's nice, bright, saturated colors with kind of that yellow, blue, and red. Kind of got those uh, primary colors going on. All right, so what you're going to need for this painting, you're going to need a 16 by 20 canvas. You're going to need... I use paper plates for my canvas, or for my palettes, I mean, uh, just because they're cheap. You can use whatever you want, though. Uh, I've got paper towels. Those are always good to have around. If you want to do it fast, I recommend, you know, a little blow dryer. It helps you dry it fast as you go. I've also got um, a water cup, okay, as I've been saying, you know. Um, I would just designate a cup for water cup. I wouldn't, you can, you can clean it out and reuse it, drink out of it, but I wouldn't. Okay, but you want a water cup? Anytime you're not using your brushes, throw them back in that water cup, okay? Now, I've also got a pencil that I'm going to use to start, uh, start uh, my painting with a little drawing there, just kind of a line for where the horizon line is. And I've also got a piece of chalk, okay? So, chalk, pencil, a couple brushes, and paint colors. I've got white, black, I've got two blues. I've got this sky blue, which is just a nice light pastel, pastel, uh, lighter blue. I don't know. This one's called sky blue. I don't know. You might have to find a different color depending on where you buy your paint. Uh, then I've got this thalo blue here, a little bit darker, and I've got my violet, and I've got my bright red here, and I've got some light yellow, okay? So, those are all the colors I'm going to use. Pretty decent amount of colors there. Basically your basic colors, your basic uh, primary colors, plus some purple. This light blue is really good too, and then some white and black, okay? So, that being said, uh, I'm going to take one shot and then I'm going to change my camera and get started, okay? Cheers. And summer nights are summer wind. The sun stays out past day. At dinner with... Okay. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pencil. We're going to draw a little horizon line there. So I'm going to go about halfway up. Somewhere in there. And I am going to draw a line. Just a nice line there. Is that straight? Kind of. It's a little wonky. Let me. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Once we get that drawn in, we are ready to paint. That's all the drawing we need to do with our pencil. You're done drawing. You're, you're a drawer. You're officially a drawer. So that was a weird word. Okay, so on my plate, I kind of already started this one, so I'm going to grab my plate. Oh. I've got light blue, some white, some of my phthalo blue, and, and uh, a lot of yellow there, okay? So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to take my big brush out of my water cup here, tap it off on the side so you feel fancy. Okay, then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start by stirring it in with that yellow. Get your water all stirred in there. You want to mix the water in with your paint. Uh, that way you won't get any drips going down your canvas. All right, there we go. By me, July. Okay, I'm gonna start in the middle here with the yellow. I'm gonna take this out pretty far, but not all the way to the edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up. I don't know, about half the way up the sky, about half the way, quarter of the canvas, half the sky. You know what I'm saying? And everything we do in the sky here, we're gonna try to repeat down to the bottom in the water. Okay. All right, down here, same thing. Just gonna kind of mirror these. Okay, it's a reflection. So we're mirroring. Okay, a little bit of yellow down there in the bottom. And then once we get done with that, we're going to wash this. I'm going to wash this really good. So first, I want this bright blue to be really bright. I don't want it to be green. So I'm going to really wash this. I'm just going to swish it back and forth in here. Okay, I don't need to stab the cup. A lot of people do that. Don't need to. Tears those brushes up. All right, then I'm gonna go to my light blue, white and light blue. 
Which I've kind of already got a little mixed up here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch more white. Actually, I'll just go ahead and bring this over here. There we go. So I got a little bit of yellow mixing in. There we go. So I got a bunch of this light blue mixed up. I got some white to my light blue. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to start filling this in, okay, all, over, all around. Still got some yellow in here. I'm going to wipe some of this yellow off. Thundering outside. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really looked outside today. I don't even know what's going on out there. Okay, light blue, fill this all in. Looks like I still got some yellow in my brush, but I'm just gonna go with it. So I'm going to paint this all around the outside. I'm going to do the same in the bottom, and then I'm going to go in and kind of blend it with the yellow a little bit. doing okay today. I didn't get much sleep. I'm a little out of it today. I'm sorry. I stayed up too late. This VR painting last night. I was trying to make this uh, picture of a cat. Well, a dog and a cat. I started by making my dog like he is flying with like wings. Then I had this giant cat behind him like he was kind of running a giant cat. And it turned out looking all right. It's kind of weird looking. I need to put more time into it, but I got as much done as I could. But I ended up staying up too late. Okay, let's see. I've got my blue on here. Now, I'm going to kind of just turn my brush sideways and just do this little scribble back and forth down here in this water part, okay? This is also just kind of the general uh, brush stroke down here in the water. These little skinny little lines in the water kind of makes it look, you know, kind of like ripples or waves or something in the water. But that's what I'm going to do to mix these two spots together a little bit. I can let some of it go out here a little bit, you know, get some of those colors. I can also bring some of that back out. Anyway, I'm just going to mix these together real quick. In the sky, I'm going to do a, a very similar thing, but um, a little bit different brush stroke. I'm not going to do the sideways thing, but I'm going to essentially do the same thing. I'm going to blend them together. There we go. All right, I'll take a little bit more blue, and I'm going to come up here and just kind of start to blend these. Now, this yellow is starting to dry on me a little bit. I'm trying to touch some of that wet yellow paint to blend. But it's drying on me a little bit. Um, I'm going to get some of that rough texture like that, and I'm just going to have to go with it. I could get more yellow and add some more wet yellow so it mixes and blends real nicely, but... I am okay. I don't care that much. Alright. Now, once we get done with this, I'm going to blow dry real quick, take a shot, and then we'll keep going with our background. But we do need to dry this so we can put those nice bright colors on top uh, without them blending too much. So I'm just going to blow dry for just a minute here. Alright. Hey, yeah. Uh, take me a shot. Ooh, got a dog hair. Dog hair.
<laughs> hey, thank you, Lonnie. Appreciate you. Oh, another dog here. Ah. Rant. Rant's my dog, and he sheds a lot. My dog sheds quite a bit. I'll find his hair in everything. I'll take out, like, a, uh, like, wash some stuff in the dishwasher. I take it out, put it in the cupboard. And then by the time I pull it out, there's a freaking dog hair on it already. His hair gets on everything. I've probably eaten his hair. I know, it's kind of gross, but yeah, it's true. His hair's everywhere. All right, that's probably good enough. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and draw in where some of my clouds are with my handy-dandy chalk. The good thing about the chalk is if you make a mistake... It comes off with some water or some spit. I'm going to try to draw it dark so you can see it, um, but probably be kind of hard to see on the camera, and I'll, I'll bring it up close after a while to show you kind of where I've made my lines so you can see them a little more clear. But I'm going to basically start just kind of drawing some vague lines in here for where my clouds are going to be. Let's see, there's one. And there's kind of some more clouds, right? Um, over here, I've got... I guess you can see that chalk all right on there. Okay, over here I'm going to have kind of one cloud that's kind of flatter up towards the top. And then I'm going to have another cloud that kind of comes out there, kind of humps out there. And, oops, and then kind of cascades down here. This one's going to go down in the yellow a little bit. <clears throat> okay, now on the bottom I'm going to go ahead and try to mirror these. I'm just going to try to reverse these. So there's that line. I'm going to do reverse that here. Okay, then I'm going to do, you know, another little little uh, similar type of shape. The water, uh, you don't have to be too exact, honestly. Um, you can make these kind of, you know, vaguely um, reflections. If they're a little off, you know, the reflections are going to be a little kind of muddled up anyway with the way we do our brush strokes. So I don't have to worry too much about that. All right, okay. And then I'll go ahead and do just kind of a vague line for like where the trees are going to be. I'm just going to make a little wiggly line. It kind of comes down in the middle and goes back up on the sides. All right, so again, I'm going to mirror that on the bottom. Okay, and those are pretty much all the lines we're going to have to draw. And once we got that, we can start rocking and rolling. All right, but there's, you can kind of see some of those lines a little better, right? Okay, and again, those lines later, whenever I'm done with this, uh, I can just wipe those off, so they won't be on there at the end. Okay, and I've got my paint. Let me grab my other paint plate, plate here. You know, take some red. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to my small round brush. Take a little bit of this red and just a tiny bit of white with it, just a little bit. That white will really brighten it up really fast. I'm just going to take the tiniest little bit. Um, I like to add white because white is actually very opaque. Um, it keeps your colors from being super transparent. I might even add a little bit of orange into this in a minute. But right now I'm going to add some red. Just have that kind of cascade down. Now that outside edge, that left side, and that top edge are going to be pretty solid. And then in here, you know, I'm going to kind of decide how far I want this red to go out. Maybe kind of different parts will make it come out further. But it's going to kind of fade off on the it, on this uh, outside part, okay? Inside, outside, I don't know. The right side. Okay, up here, same thing. I'm going to make a nice solid line right in there. All right, then on the top, I'm going to fade that in. Some of that paint's still a little wet up there, so it's kind of blue. It's kind of helping, actually, right now. Okay. Over here, similar things. Kind of putting this uh, red's kind of just more through the middle part there. And a little bit right there, going along that top edge of that other uh, cloud-ish thing. Cloud? There we go. And then on the inside, brush that in. Scribble that in a little bit. Just get that a little rough. 
Kind of like it's just fading away. It's just fading away to the cloud, into the background. There we go, same thing down here. Okay, now the water. I'm gonna do a similar thing. I'm gonna do some, uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these little horizontal skinny lines. So here's my red, and just along this edge here. That's where my red is up here. Down here, I'm just gonna make these kind of horizontal scribble lines, okay? And as I go through with all the colors, it'll start to build up and give you that texture like ripples in the water. Okay, but that's essentially what I'm gonna do. I'll bring some of these out further, some of these to the right further, and then kind of let these just kind of dance back and forth across there. All right, again, right here, I've got this cloud that's kind of mirroring this top cloud. But I'm just gonna do these little horizontal lines there. I'm just taking my brush and just flipping it back and forth really fast, barely touching the canvas. Okay, left side, same thing. Kind of these skinny lines. Now this is kind of a big thick spot here. I can make this kind of big, wide, red marks there. Okay, now, um, there's some yellow highlights on these clouds. I'm also gonna add a little bit of yellow to my red, make a little kind of an orangish color. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of this orange, kind of mix this in. So at first that's real bright. But then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scribble that in. I like to do these kind of press down hard in these clouds sometimes and kind of really wiggle those back and forth. It gives you that nice wavy look and it also, that stick paint, you know, kind of looks like, it kind of gives you that cloud texture there a little bit. I want to cover up all my red, but you know, some areas, maybe like in here, some of these thick middle spots, I might put some orange in there. But you know, maybe like right there. I want to leave some of that red, but some of those edges, I'll bring that orange all the way up to the edge. Leave it mostly red, but you know, I like the orange. And then again, I'll take that down there in the bottom in the water. Make a couple little orange scribbles down here. Same thing I was doing with that red. But as you start to build this up, start to get those other colors on there. And it starts to come together. My ankle's itchy. Why are my ankle so itchy? I think it's about time for another shot. Okay, almost done with that orange. Now, next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the yellow last. I want this to dry a little bit before I put the highlight, the yellow highlights on the red there. Uh, so next I'm gonna do the light purple and then that dark blue. Okay, then we'll do some trees. And whenever this gets dry, I'll put some yellow highlights on the clouds. And I'm gonna take a shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, light purple. Uh, so now I want to really wash out my my small round brush. It's not a big deal though, because the red and the purple can mix, and it's fine. If it mixes on your brush, it's okay. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and take purple, a little bit of white. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a little bit light. I don't want to add a ton of the white. I, that might be a little too much white. Stir no, this into I'm some not. purple there. Yeah. Hold on one second. No one exactly okay. 
Okay. Oh. Oh, Isaac, if you're out there, I love you, buddy. My friend Isaac's in this band called The Twos. I love this song. I love his band. They're great. Okay, uh, I'm going to continue here. I'm going to move in with some purple. Let's see. Okay, I'm actually going to add a little bit more white to that. Lighten it up a little bit. End up with the shade somewhere in here. That's a little dark. I want to make it a little bit lighter than that. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to basically just continue this, you know, out here. Kind of around where my red is. It's kind of goes from red to purple to blue. That's the idea. You know, I'm going to try to mix those a little bit as I go. Kind of scribble that in. What you see is what you know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring this back, all the way back, and then I'll paint blue on top of this purple. Now there's some blue, you know, I should, well, it's okay. Say, I should, I should have probably done some of my darker blues in the skies before I did all this, but that's okay. I just have to... Work a little magic here. Okay, up here at the top, purple. Some of that in there. Just kind of press down, make some wiggly lines there. Some nice strong brush strokes. And let them blend however they blend, okay? As I always say, don't fight your painting, okay? It's not a battle. And uh, you won't win, probably, if you're trying to fight it. Uh, your painting knows when you're fighting it, and it's... Uh, bad at fighting back. I don't know. When you fight, I don't know. When you start like just trying to overpower your paint, I don't know. You kind of just got to go with it. Sometimes paint has a mind of its own. You just kind of got to go with it sometimes. Let go of your ego. Just let go. Do what no the paint wants, wants to do. Where is it? Okay, down here in the water, we do the same thing. Some of these little skinny lines, these little horizontal what lines out here. And yeah, I'm going to keep these, you know, like they are up here, they're kind of pushing know? back to that side. So I'm going to keep them more in this area back here. But I still want to see some of that blue showing through. So I'm going to try to not cover up all my light blue down there in the water, okay? There are places in between. Same type of thing. Put some right here first. Let's see. Go over here. Okay. Got some red, got some purple. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue, and I wanna put a little bit of blue back in the sky. So, I'm gonna take my light blue and mix some of my dark blue. So I kinda got this light blue that I was using at the beginning for my sky. Take that, mix a little bit of blue in there. Now it's just a little bit darker. And it's a little bit different kind of blue. Let's see, so yeah, this is definitely something I probably should have done before I get the clouds, but I'm just gonna wing it. Alright, I'm gonna try to paint this across. Yeah, I definitely should have done this before I get the clouds. Hey, whatever. I got that darker blue. Where you been is what you see. There are places in between. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm tuning in. I can't help it. I like that song. Okay. So what I want to do here now is I want to kind of drag this across. Kind of got this little, you know, clouds, a little, you know, little atmospheric, uh, uh, spatial, atmospheric color, spatial thing. Anyway, I have a little bit darker blue kind of going across there. And then I'll have a couple little strong dark blue. I'm kind of trying to go in between my clouds and just kind of, now I'm kind of remaking the edge of these clouds because I'm putting that dark blue in. Now I'll do that and I also want to put one little, couple little, um, I want to do one good, this is a little cloud system thing going across there. And that's going to go all the way across and kind of go up behind this cloud. Now I'll probably just go ahead and take some more red and paint over these edges. That's probably the right way to do it. go. All right, I'm going to go and switch to my small flat brush for just a couple quick little marks here. With this same dark blue color, I'm going to go in here and make a couple little clouds, okay? So I'm just going to make a couple little lines going across there. Nothing real fancy. Make some coming back in there. Now I just got some clouds going through here. I'm going to connect that, make that kind of coming out of there. Alright, but go ahead and put some of these little lines in there. Okay, um, while I've got this on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and, well, no, I'm going to get my light color first. I'm going to do all the sky first, then I'll go to the water. Alright, well, i got this brush, so I'm going to go back to my light blue color up here that I used out here for this, well, I did the yellow and the light blue. I'm going to go back to that color, put a little bit of this kind of in in some areas. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mix this kind of in with my dark blue lines. There's just two colors. They're both doing the same thing, but they're just two shades of blue. There we go. And I'll go back and I'll touch up these uh, edges on there with the blue one touch. Okay, now while I've got this color, go ahead and get some of this light blue, make some little lines. I like to this little flat brush is kind of better for making these skinny lines anyway. Uh, add some water to your paint, stir it in to make it nice and smooth. It makes skinny lines a lot easier. All right now I'll go back to my darker blue with this brush. And then down here at the bottom, I'll continue doing these dark blue, you know, ripple lines going through the water. And I'll start letting these, some of these go through my, into my purples and reds, some of these areas. Definitely want to overlap a little bit. forget, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of that red back in on those edges of the clouds where I had to kind of redo my blue. So right there, I'm just going to kind of redo that red edge. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's see. Purple, red, orange, did some of that dark blue. Now I want to do some real dark blue. It, up there in the clouds. So back behind this, kind of on top of where the purple's at, I'm going to take some strong phthalo blue and paint that on top, okay? Watch my brush. Okay. Dark blue. Well, I woke up to rain and then I woke an hour later. Okay. Dark blue. And I'm just going to kind of paint this in here. Now, I'm going to leave some of my purple spots showing in here, but I'm going to basically, blue is kind of your deepest color. It's the furthest back. And then as you go forward, it's going to kind of transition from dark blue to purple to red. That's the idea. Down, the sky won't break. 
the same thing at the end. It's gonna be all dark to the top. Take that in. And then when I get down here, there's purple and stuff in the top. Take that in. I'll probably take some more purple and mix that in. Need a little more blue. Okay, once I got that in there, I'm going to start making some little skinny dark blue marks in here down here at the bottom. And it's going to take these all the way over the side. But if you want some to go past the Out here on the sides, definitely want to take a lot of that dark blue out there. Okay, so now I got some colors going on. Um, uh, I might make a little bit different stuff going on down there at the bottom at some point. Before this dries, I want to take a little bit of light purple and mix that in with my blue. There we go, let that little purple mix a little bit. I want to get this while it's still wet and then I can have some. Yeah, it looks a little bit better once wet and mix. So a little bit more light purple in this top cloud there. There we go. There we go. Okay. Kind of like my clouds a little better there. Um, I might take a, a little bit more colors down here. Maybe. Mm, yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, I like it still. Okay, uh, I do want to add some bright yellow on here. I think that's still wet, though. So we'll come back to that later. I am going to go ahead and do some of my uh, my little tree line there. Okay, this little tree line. I'm just going to make a line that goes across, and on the top I'm just going to scribble in some trees that kind of get shorter towards the middle. So I'm going to take my small flat brush for this. Get a new plate with black paint. I need one more shot. What is this feeling? Hey, yeah, black Where paint. does it come from? Why is it only here when you're not? Electric emotion that gives you Cheers. the notion that I'd like to be here. And I'd rather not. All right. Small flat brush. Give it a good wash. Get some of my black paint. Now again, I want to stir that water and get that water really stirred in there. It makes it nice and smooth. Makes it flow really well. Okay. So again, I will start with a flat line. Yeah, that kind of down there a little 
bit. Let's bring that back up. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty straight, actually. So my clouds came down a little further on the right side than I thought they were. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start scribbling in some... I'm just going to turn my brush up here tall ways and just kind of scribble back and forth. All right, just like that. And as I get towards the middle, I will make them a little shorter. Lots of water mixing in. My paint's really drying out today. Maybe I'm just not mixing enough water as I go. Back and forth, back and back and forth. And then go on like that. Okay, but in the middle, I'm gonna let, really drop it down real low. Drop it down low. That's like a rap song or something, I think, right? Drop it down low. It's gotta be something. It's a joke there somewhere, probably. Okay, but as I go up here to the right side and left side, I'm gonna make these come up a little bit taller. Right on top of my clouds. Okay, these are in front of the clouds. Alright, so they're just going to be right on top. Okay, now before I'm done, I'm going to mix some, press some blue in with my black, have another little shade of uh, color in there with it. Now out here on the outside, I just like to make those a lot taller trees. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing down here in reverse, but I'm going to kind of do that same kind of deal I'm doing with these trees, right? Kind of make them a little bit more um, sketchy, not quite as solid. Just gonna kind of turn my brush sideways and just flip it back straight back and forth. That's not. Uh, 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 I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I'm not trying to do it right for this camera at this weird angle, but you get what I'm saying, right? Just gonna go back and forth. Just gonna try to mirror that what I did there on the top. Open your mind. Let us begin our quest. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, so, yeah, before this drive, I'm going to add a little bit of blue in there, a little bit of yellow or white, make a little highlight color on there. Go, okay. Yeah, so before this dries, let me take a little bit of blue. Let me take a little of my, take a little blue here. Just have another color so it's not just all black. All right, and I'll take this and I'll just kind of put this lightly, scribble this in there with it. I could just take some of this and take it right in there. Uh, if you notice, I'm just scribbling it in. I'm not, don't overthink this. Put it in there and let it mix however it mixes. That whole thing I always say where, you know, don't fight your painting. Let it do whatever it does. This is what my paint's doing. I'm just going to let it. I'll take some of that color and put it down here in the bottom. Just not quite a, as much. Maybe a little bit. Um, your reflection should be a little darker. Usually it's a little darker than the, uh, the actual thing it's reflecting in the water. Uh, usually the water's a little darker than the sky is kind of what I'm saying. So I'm not going to put as much of this down here as I would in the top part. Okay. Alright, I think I just need to put in some yellow for the highlights. Probably some yellow and white. And then I think we can start our boat. I need to really wash my brush out though because I got black and I'm going to try to go to light yellow. So I want to really make sure I get all the black out of that. Gonna really darken it up. So let's wipe that off. Okay, yeah, there's definitely still some black in there. Oh yeah, there we go. Wash out. Wash, wash out there. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, let me get some more yellow, some more white. Okay, yellow, white. 
Okay, there we go. Lots of white and that yellow. Okay, so I'm going to add just a few of these little lines like this. It's kind of wiggly, you know, a little biomorphic uh, gestural lines. Just to suggest, kind of like, you know, out there on those outside edges of those, the brightest spots in those clouds, there's some of that yellow, yellow light is hitting those clouds. I like to have them kind of go into the purple and out into the orange and red spot. So I'm also using this too to cover up some spots I don't like. Like if I don't like where this edge seems too too harsh, I don't like that spot. So I'll just paint some yellow on there. There's lots of little things like that you can do to uh, fix your painting, make them a little better. Okay, now again, I'll do the same thing. Or I'm going to put some of these yellow highlights throughout throughout the water and uh, mirroring where they are on the top. Now I'm also going to let some of this go into the black. I want this to, you know, the black, um, it's good to have some of these lines going through the other lines where you can tell this is the water. Those colors and the ripples in the water go over each other. Okay, so, oh, I need to put a little bit, oh, some light yellow on those trees, too. Maybe just a little tiny, tiny bit. Maybe mix this light yellow in with my black. Now I've got this, this will be my highlight on the black. Let me put a little few of those all. There we go. And again, little marks on the bottom there. Okay. Okay, now I think last thing I'm going to do is put that boat in. Okay? So the boat, um, really not too complicated. Uh, let me blow dry it real quick. Just down here where the boat's going to be. All right, that's probably good. As long as this section down here is a little dry, which it shouldn't be too wet because we haven't used a lot of thick paint down there, really. Okay, so the boat. Now is where we're going to draw one more time. So I'm going to take my chalk, and I'm going to start by drawing this kind of like a little banana shape. So right here on the edge, I got that little mark right there. It's kind of hard to see. It's right where that red is. I want to bring that up. That's going to come over pretty far, you know, pretty close to the middle of the canvas there, right up to it. Sit my canvas up here on the easel so I can get all the way to the bottom. Okay, and there's uh, the top of that little canoe boat. And I'll bring this down. So we've got just kind of this big curving up triangle there that's going off the edge. And then from that tip, you're going to bring a point kind of down and then kind of back at the bottom. So it's going to go down and then back. All right, that's your general, general shape there. Let me look at it from the front. That's a little skinny. And I dropped my chalk. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I want to make it a little thicker. Here, let's bring it up a little higher. Lick my finger. Wipe that off. There we go. Okay, so, painting our boat in. So I'm going to use my small flat brush for this. I got a lot of weird colors on it, so I'm going to go ahead and wash it out really good there. Alright, so 
got quite a bit of paint in it. Yeah. So I'm going to start with black and kind of do my darker colors first and then work my way up to my lighter colors on the boat. So start with my black paint here. Get that water mixed in, get that black paint on there. And I'm going to start by filling in that top part there. It's kind of the inside of the boat right here. So I'm going to start by outlining this. Paint is real dry today. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm just not adding enough water as I go. I like to make those nice, smooth, solid lines. But if you don't add a lot of water, it dries out and you get these like rough marks. So I'm gonna add some water in there. Hopefully that'll help. Okay. It's not very curved. That's a little better. And then bring this one down. Making these like nice solid outlines is always tricky, but I feel like it's actually the faster you go, you tend to make more solid, straight, smooth lines. If you go real slow, you get these like real wiggly lines, but if you go fast, you tend to get a little bit more straight line. Okay, I'm gonna fill this whole thing in black. Now I'm going to do that. I'm also going to go ahead and kind of outline this bottom part. Look, it's not going to be all black on the bottom here, but I'm going to go ahead and outline that. Okay, and then somewhere around here, this is going to be kind of the little shadow in the water. Okay, now this is the tricky part. It's not really tricky. It's just kind of weird at first. It looks strange until you add the little water marks on top, little ripples in the water on top. But somewhere down here where it starts to curve back, I'm going to make a little line. And this is just kind of mirroring that. So it's coming down like this right here. Wherever it comes out, that's the point it's going to come out right there. I'm just going to do that same line in reverse. It's kind of mirroring this top part. I'm going to fill this in all black. Yeah, that's going to look weird for a minute. We'll come back to that. I guess it looks okay still, but you kind of get it. But it starts to look a lot better when you add those little ripples in the water. Okay. Now I'm going to get some blue, just some regular dark blue here my phthalo blue. Don't really need anything mixed in with it. You can mix some black in with it if you want. Make it a little bit more uh, opaque. A lot of these colors by themselves are kind of transparent. Black and white are really opaque colors. They make all your other colors cover other colors really well. So sometimes I add those in just to help my colors uh, cover really well. Okay, so I'll go ahead and paint this in. All right, blue's mixed in with that black a little bit. It's okay. Kind of looks nice. There we go. Now inside my boat, I'm gonna make some, I'm not gonna go all the way to that top edge. I'm gonna give myself a little space. I'm just gonna drag my brush down. I'm gonna drag this down, but not all the way down. So once it gets over here a little deeper, I'm not gonna drag it all the way down. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna get some light purple. So I'm gonna have my light purple be the next step in the colors, and then the yellow will be the final step there, the brightest color on my boat. But I'm gonna go back to my light purple. Okay, so I'm gonna use this um, a lot around this top, this front part. Paint's wet, so I'm gonna have to use, you know, you kinda gotta be, I'm gonna have to be a little bolder with my marks there. You could just let it dry. But, I don't, I'm just gonna, I don't like to play in there with the paint still wet there. And I'm gonna drag this all the way back here. Okay, up here on the top, I'm going to basically re-outline this top part. Make that point come out a little bit there. There we go. Okay, um, 
I want to put some little marks in the water. So I want to add those light blue marks. I'm going to go back to that light blue I had for that original color there in the water. And I want to put some of these just right into my little shadow there. Not into the boat, just that shadow in the water, that little part there in the bottom. Oh, look at that. All right. Okay, and that just kind of, like, those, those couple little marks down there makes it easy to tell that that is, you know, ripples in the water. Last thing I do is got to add some yellow. I am going to go ahead and blow dry this real quick because I don't want the yellow to mix with the black. So I'm just going to blow dry this for just a second. Okay, so now I really want to wash this out because, again, I'm going back to that light yellow. This is going to be my highlight. So I really want to wash all that color out and just have some bright yellow in there. Okay, so this brush is pretty clean now. I can get my yellow and my white. So here we go. Grab some yellow and a lot of that white. Really lighten that white up. Or lighten that yellow. So take a little bit of yellow and then uh, take up my white. Never gets old. Okay. Again, I'm going to outline this. Now, this is going to be the top. I'm trying to keep this on the outside, so I've got to really just go for it here. Don't really get much of a second chance on that. I mean, you can. You can just paint over it, dry it, try it again. But at a certain point, you just got to go for it, and you got to, at some point, you just got to leave what you got. A little bit of black mix in there. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow just going down the front. I can bring some of that back if I want. It's a little highlight. Or the sun's or the light sitting there on the front. I think we got some black mixed in. Let's get that wiped off. Okay, and then I want to do one little whatever this thing is. I don't know, like your seat thing. I don't know. Not a big boater. I don't know a lot about boats, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna go and put that in. Oh, I just got paint on my face, didn't I? Okay, uh, that pretty much finishes it up. Um, you know, I'm going to put a little bit more of my orange in the water. I feel like that's one thing I didn't quite put enough of in. or I don't know. I guess it looks okay, but I want to add a little bit more of that orangey color. And then I'm going to paint my side edges, sign it, and I'll be done. Put a little bit more of this reddish color in the water. I feel like I didn't get enough of that. And then I think that'll be it. Okay, let me paint my side edges. Now you also, at the end, you want to sign your name so that, uh, oh, hey, what's up, Tammy? You want to sign your name so it's a nice official fancy painting. And you want to paint your side edges. Um, it's just one of those things. It looks nice on the wall when you paint the side edges. Trust me, you want to paint it. Alright. All right, well, well, we sure did learn a lot today, didn't we? Thanks for watching if you're watching. Uh, appreciate y'all. 
Um, I'll have another video Thursday. I have the painting up tomorrow, the one I'm going to do Thursday. I'll keep putting up my VR paintings. I'm getting better. Some of them, they're not all winners, but uh, it's a lot of fun to make them. I think they're pretty interesting. And, uh, you know, again, follow, like, subscribe. Search me on stuff. I'm on all the platforms pretty much, I think. Uh, I'm not really on, on uh, TikTok. Sorry. Uh, I have an account on there. People are telling me to get on there. I just, I don't know what to do on there. Uh, but anyway, you can find me on most things. Please like, follow, subscribe. It's really sure me a lot, Tammy. Um, and again, if you want to, if you like these videos, you want me to keep doing them, you can throw me, you can send me some donations if you want. And yeah, you know, um, keep on, uh, keep trucking, okay? Well, let me sign my name. I gotta sign my name so it's nice and official. Take my little round brush. I'm gonna do my light yellow. No, I'm gonna do light purple down there in the boat. That's where I'm gonna sign it. Uh, hi, yeah. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hey, thanks guys for watching and uh, have a great uh, have a great Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or Saturday or Sunday or Monday, whichever day you're watching this. And goodbye. Bye.